Hello, um, Wobblecopter here. I'm doing a quick video for um, the Facebook um, SEMA owners. And um, this one's going to be on trimming your quadcopter. Um, you can set your reset your accelerometers, but that's basically setting your accelerometers to how flat um, of a surface that the aircraft is sitting on when you reset the accelerometers. Plus, that um, doesn't mean that the trim on the transmitter is synced up with the quadcopter just because the quadcopter is leveled with the ground. So, uh, just to go over the basics, um, once you bind your quadcopter and you get it ready to to fly, um, you can trim it. Okay. Now, these two buttons right here trim the 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 right stick. Okay. Now the bottom one is the the left and the right and then this upper one is the forward and the backward trim and if your quadcopter is sitting on an angle like this as it's flying it's going to pull itself in a direction which keeps your it, it fights against your piloting skills you want it to just sit there in one direction and float and um, that's what uh, you know makes it a lot easier to fly I mean, you don't have to be fanatical about it, you know, uh, if it's real windy, I don't even try to trim them because I'm just constantly fighting the wind anyway, so, you know, working with the wind and stuff, but, um, you know, just for, you know, beginning and doing some slow, easy flying and learning how to control this, it, um, it really helps to have it trimmed. Okay, so, um, like I said, this, this right here um, does the the left and the right the up and the down and uh, this one's the yaw this is your this is your uh, steering this is the one that you know makes your quadcopter turn if it's going to turn by itself like this you know you want to push this yaw button over to the right a few times like about three times to bring it back steady again this one's a throttle trim which isn't always the case not Every controller is just the throttle trim. Sometimes it's used for different purposes, so you'll have to read your manual on that. Um, so let's uh, let's do this. We're gonna set this um, SEMA X5C down. That's not exactly a flat surface, but that's as good as I've got right now. Okay, we turn our transmitter on. We bind it. Okay, and as you can see, we've got um, um, we've got it bound. And now let's reset uh, the accelerometers. Okay, that uh, tells the quadcopter what is flat. You know, what is level with the earth. So both sticks down to the right. Quadcopter is going to uh, flash a little bit. And I'm not really showing it on the camera, but when it's finished, then you've got it there. Um, now, I I like to, as far as um, um, trimming, I like to do that right on the ground. So what I do is I just give it a tiny bit. Okay, now you see it wants to go forward. Okay, so I'm going to go backward on this is the one that's forward and backward I'm gonna go down one two three four five something like that now let's try it again that's better it still wants it still wants to go forward I'm gonna trim it some more okay now it wants to go to the right so let's push this button back to the left Oftentimes when you adjust one button, another button will go out. It's a real balance. And so, okay, now it's still, it's still going a little bit to the left, but actually we have um, a slight breeze from the left, so that's normal. Now I'm just bringing this um, in with just really minute motions.
you know, I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's just staying there all by itself. It's moving around a little bit with the breeze and that sort of thing, but what a nice, quick, easy way to, we better turn. <laughs> I don't want to be getting out my pole of shame and saving this, but what a nice, easy way to trim, you know, just do it, just do it on the ground. So, alrighty, well, I hope this helps out a few people. Um, thanks for watching.